morning. I got breakfast with my dad this morning. That was so nice. It's now nine, which is also a nice part about getting breakfast with him is that he eats breakfast so early that I have to get there pretty early, like eight o'clock. So I get to work early. So actually, I will be at the office in time for the post person to pick up my shipping, but of course, I don't have anything to ship. Ah, help! This is my first no sales day of this series, this vlog. I think just last week I was like, at least I haven't had a no sales day yet. Well, here we are. The inevitable has come to pass. Hopefully, we don't have too many more of these. I did get five listings up last night, but I didn't have in the measurements or the skew to add to them. So, the plan today, photograph the rest of the stuff, measure everything, inventory everything, and then hopefully we can go to Crossroads. The two bags of stuff to go to Crossroads in my car, I'm actually going to bring in and I'm gonna go ahead and just take out all the summer stuff. There's no point in taking in summer stuff right now. They're not gonna pick it up. So I'm gonna have, I decided like a separate bin to keep consignment summer stuff in for both maternity and crossroads. When they do switch over to summer, which is usually around March, I can take that in. I am excited do that if we have time which I think we should it's 9 o'clock I have till 12 30 so well I don't know <laughs> it's actually less than anything but no shipping you know we've only got how many things to photograph like 12 so yeah I think we should have time is this where I turn no hopefully they take a lot of stuff at crossroads um, and then hopefully we can get some things all right well I'm at the office um, it's super close to where my dad is. So I'm gonna carry in those bags for crossroads and then we're gonna go in and get to work. All right, see you there. Okay, so how many do I have? Two, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okie doke, let's get it going. I need to make sure I have lint roller. I know a lot of these need to be lint rolled. So this is one that's probably from like the Dollar Tree or something. And it's not bad. But this is the Scotch Guard lint roller, which I think I have linked in my Amazon. I'll link it down below if not. And this one is so sticky that like <laughs> I don't know, it can just stick to anything. Like you put it on a table, it's hard to get off. Um, so this is the one that I use in times of high need, which I have now. Okay, speaking of, I know this one needs some lint rolling. These are the Hugo Boss pants. Got my camera. Every single time I have to turn the flash off. It's just like automatically on. Typically I like to rush, but this morning I feel like not timing myself, not rushing too much, and just kind of easing into the day a little bit. So I think I'm gonna go photograph this stuff, and then when I'm measuring and inventorying, I will meet you all there, unless you wanna watch me. Let me know in the comments what you liked seeing. If you just like seeing me photograph, I can include that footage too, but today I'll just turn it off. Man, I look... I look a hot mess today. Just, it's all right. <laughs> all right, I'll meet you later. Oh, that took forever. <laughs> it took forever. Oh my gosh, it's oh, past 10.30. The lint rolling took forever. I got a phone call in the middle of it. I derailed everything. Because then I was responding to all these texts. <laughs> uh, I posted on Instagram. It just took forever. Oh my gosh, I'm glad it's over. I'm tired, I'm, I don't know why I'm so tired. I think maybe it's because I ate meat this morning or something. I notice that when I eat meat, I get really tired. I don't eat meat at home, just like when I go out. And, or it could be because I slept seven and a half hours last night, but I honestly think being pregnant and stuff, I need like 10. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's do measurements. This 
Patagonia. So I'm pretty sure this is actually a men's. It's Patagonia Capeline tea. I'm probably gonna sell it for like 20 bucks. It took me forever because I not only lip rolled it, but I also did some sweater shaving on it because it had some pilling. It's one of those things that's like, I could literally spend an hour on this t-shirt, but I did draw the line eventually. So hopefully I still have time to go to Crossroads, but I don't know. I guess it depends on how much time it takes for me to do this and to also organize everything. I might just organize everything, put it in my car, try to do it sometime later this week. Uh, see, like there's still lint on this t-shirt. I was posting on Instagram stories about how much better these lint rollers are than other ones I've tried. I've tried so many lint rollers. I've got to share what I know. Oh yeah, and then I also had to re-steam part of these jeans because they were so wrinkled on the bottom, like the hem. I just, I guess I didn't steam them well enough, but they're totem, they're the expensive ones. So definitely worth redoing. But of course, all these things add up to so much time. A lot of it was actually pretty easy. Like I was on a roll. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get this done. And then, you know, you ran and in, run into the lint rolling one, got the phone call. But the tank tops and the shorts and the bra, so easy. Bam, bam. I do like to take that into account when I'm deciding what to pick up. Usually, I mean, it typically goes that the the more difficult the item, the higher the ASP. It's not always the case. Like that's how I do like blue jeans. Easy to list. They don't take a million years to photograph and everything. But, and that's also why I like shoes sometimes if they're in excellent condition. But I mean, you know, formal wear, sweaters that need sweater shaving. A lot of times coats need some, DLC, all black items, <laughs> basically, especially from the bins. Uh, these pants too, I spent. I need to um, like wash the things from the bins this week or else I feel like they're never going to. Or I need to schedule time next week to do stain treatment. Maybe that's what I'll do. This is pretty good inventory. Well, I am happy to list it. A good bins trip I'm happy with. Just. Man, definitely going to be selective with, I think I was pretty selective. Like, you know, the black pieces I got, the bees built pants, the Lululemon leggings, and even a Patagonia shirt, even though it probably won't sell for a ton of money, it will sell, you know. Those things are okay with spending a little bit of extra time on. And it's just, you know, the bins is part of it. That's, I love sourcing at Crossroads because, you know, they, Generally, Lint World do all this stuff for you. <laughs> the inventory you buy there is a lot cleaner, typically, than what you get at the bins. But that's what comes with a lower ASP. There's trade-offs everywhere. Ooh, lemon leggings are missing the size dot, so I definitely have to make sure these measurements are good. I guess the, the waist measurement is really the one that's gonna tell you the size, maybe 12 and a half. So definitely high rise in the waist is 14. They look like a larger size, especially since I feel like Lululemon runs pretty small. They're small, they're like, they're extra small or size two is so small. Okay, that is all of the black items. So hopefully even measurements in stuff will go faster to have to be a little bit rolling.
So I'm going to put 22 inches, and then in parentheses I'm going to put drop shoulder, and then the arm, 17.25. Drop shoulder just means like the shoulder measurement technically is part of the arm, so actually even this one. See, a lot of the answers like, because this is a large, but uh, the shoulder extends onto the arm. All right, well, this riveting content. Um, <laughs> I'm going to finish and then I'll meet you when I'm going through the crossroad stuff or maybe I'll just meet you in the car so they don't have to bore you with that too. And hopefully we'll have time to head on to crossroads 11 so we can get all this done in the next 30 minutes then we should be able to go. Okay, I'm going to tie myself. All right. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, so I'm on my way to crossroads. I went through everything that I'm taking in. I actually didn't have too much summer stuff in there, so that's good. I'm glad I'm going in because a lot of it is winter stuff. Um, and I'm feeling good about it, actually. If they're actually buying things, which sometimes they are, sometimes they're like just in need of inventory, you can tell, and then sometimes, oh shoot, I need to turn here. Amber. Sometimes they're not, wait. Wait, I don't want to turn here. <sighs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, sometimes they're in need of inventory, sometimes they're not. You can tell by how much they buy. Um, I've gone in and they've literally been super picky, and you can just tell right away. And then I've also come in and they've purchased everything like, actually, everything I token so it just depends if they're in need of inventory or not so if they're in need of inventory then I think this could maybe be my biggest outro to this video on my phone because my camera I don't know how to even get into it so trade in I made $221 in trade in and I actually bought like $250 worth of stuff and luckily I had another trading card with a little bit of money so I ended up only spending six bucks and I found some really good I found some really good things that I, um, I'm going to show you Thursday. I'll show you Thursday uh, when I go photograph them. So, um, overall, a successful day, except for I am so late going home, and I am so sorry, Matt. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am really sorry. I need to stop doing that. Like, I'm, I'm going to stop doing that. So anyway, still have a ton of stuff, so I might go through it and see if it's worth going to the other crossroads at some point or just send it in to thread up. So that's something I gotta do, and then I still have maternity consignment stuff I want to take in, so one of these days we'll do those things too. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna sign off here. Um, Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying these vlogs. You know what? You know I said I was so tired earlier? I think it's because I didn't work out today. I've been working out, you know, in the morning and stuff, and it does give me energy, so. It does, like, make my morning so much, feel so much better in the morning. So, anyway, <laughs> rambling over. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for enduring my rambling. I'll see you uh, on Thursday. Okay.
Love y'all. Bye.